Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. <laughs> How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi De Salovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed, my darlings. Are you living and loving for the little outfit? This is by a Nigerian designer, and they are called Dai Lab. It's an Agbada, and they've used different colors, a mishmash of different patterns, and I absolutely live for it I haven't worn a kaftan in a minute my darlings i am going to manchester manchester on the 5th of october Fumination, nation you're going to see me there i am so honored and i am so looking forward to being a guest speaker at she leads for legacy conference i cannot wait to meet you guys the tickets are down below they start from 25 pounds and up get yours and yes i will be there and i will wait after the conference and i will take pictures with my beautiful fabulous fumination sisters and brothers darlings we have the amazing and the most wonderful jane harris jane harris has listened to our requests and she has come back with yet what another masterclass that will be on the 28th to the 1st of october that's where you're going to learn your brand. That's where you're going to learn everything about your business. That is where you're going to understand the business model for every business out there that is looking for guidance, that is looking for support. You will also, which is her master in how to start your wig business. Jane Harris in one year made over a million dollars. I said, what? And I started with her classes. I started with her tutorship. And when I tell you that things have picked up for me in a way that I cannot explain, but only show you the brand because it's on its way. The Fabuloso. So she's back again. The tickets are going to be below. Go right ahead and I will meet you in class on the 28th. Yep all the way till the first it is a fantastic business class of where you will learn how to start and push and promote your business there are some key elements that have just given me such relief because i didn't know how i was going to do it guys this is not i'm not promoting this i am gifting this to you that's the only way i can describe it all right my darling so why are we here we are here because Jennifer Lopez was with P. Diddy on the 27th of December, 1999 at Club New York. Why do I bring this up? Because her name is coming up in conversations. As we all know, the feds arrested Diddy just over a week ago for all kinds of charges of which you're very well aware of. And he was taken to jail where he has been denied bail twice he's in brooklyn and he is not having a great time he's on suicide watch and they usually do that for high profile inmates he's not eating very well he, he doesn't have a phone television radio he's wearing dreary clothes and everything looks very bleak very very bleak they turned down the 50 million dollar bill it was turned down because they want him and they want everybody in this in this cesspool that has been going on for 30 years and one of the big cases was that night when himself was accused by Natanya Rubin and she said did he shot her We've heard from Shine. Shine is now a high profile government official in Belize and he has talked about how did he ruin his life. The paparazzi is running around trying to get JLo to make a comment of which she is not.
put out some private property as well. Jennifer, are you supporting Didi? You think he deserves to be in jail, Jennifer? And we also have JLo's team currently in high alert as they anticipate some drama as more people revisit the shooting of Natanya Rubin. The singer has yet to speak about Diddy despite the heavy allegations leveled against her and her former boyfriend. Her silence aligns with experts, claims that an overwhelming majority of A-list Hollywood celebrities are scared to death to weigh in on Combs' criminal case, possibly due to their own involvement in one way or another or alleged threats by Diddy sending people to silence them. Jen has people looking into all of it. She doesn't believe any negative impact will come from whatever happens to Diddy, but will do anything to avoid any future crisis. Jennifer, my darling, Jennifer, 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 you have had the most disastrous year. It seems as if it's getting from bad to worse. And I strongly advise you to forget about Ben right now. You are divorcing Ben after a two-year two years of marriage and I've been reading in the press that you're going out together with the children you're dropping them off at school this that and the third do I care not necessarily do I think that uh, this is a good place for you nope absolutely not you have to focus on other things right now and forget about this disastrous marriage because it wasn't a marriage to begin with actually it, there should never have been a 2.0 you should have left it for what it is Needless to say, I digress. It is very natural for anybody and everybody to wonder why you have not said anything and why you're just practicing around taking care of very menial situations right now. I will say this. Uh, everybody has a right. Everybody is curious. We are curious to know what happened that night. Where were you? Were you in front of him? Were you behind him? Were you in the bathroom? Were you applying some more lip gloss? Were you talking to somebody about your ventures, about your album? Where were you? Because we have heard from Cassie. We have heard about what he has done to his exes, to his baby mamas. And now we're just curious as to know whether he was that way with you. I don't think he was that way with you because you were a very high profile star at that time. It would have gotten out. But what I do know is that you guys jumped into a car and you beat literally every red light down Manhattan, getting away from Club New York. What happened in the van? You were questioned for 14 hours and then let go. And then very soon after, you broke up with Diddy. Is it that Diddy has something on you? Because we've heard how he was filming so many celebrities at his house and that a lot of people were undressed. Were you part of that crew? Or are you keeping loyalty because of old relationship boyfriend girlfriend situations where i got off i wouldn't say anything but did he i will never ever 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 be with you dating with you ever again your mother jumped up almost out of the seat when you had an interview with wendy williams that you should never that she would never allow you to date diddy again we're just curious what are you what are your plans? Because I, cons I, I strongly, strongly advise for you not to say anything, actually. Because if nobody comes to you directly to say, you know what, you are being subpoenaed because we feel that we want to revisit this case, it will be very, very well advised for you not to say anything because you will open up your mouth and you will draw yourself back into this case of which everybody seems to be terribly nervous about. Diddy was a dawn. For 30 years, he ran Hollywood 
like his playground of which he did all kinds of unsavory things. My concern, as should be yours, is of what he did to women. That's just facts. We are mothers. You're a mother of twins. You have a boy and a girl with a clear conscience. Do you look at them and say to yourself, perhaps it's time to do the right thing? Natanya Rubin has fragments of bullets in her head still to this very day. She has been threatened and she has been really tortured by that unfortunate night. You went on to have an amazing career of which you have found so much backlash this year. It cannot be denied. You cannot catch a break. Some might say karma. Some might say the past is catching up to you. Some might say that this is how you have been here, there, and everywhere. Some might say that, you know what, we still live and love J-Lo. Of everything, it's all speculation. But it had to be discussed. Because you were an intricate part of a huge case of which Diddy went free and Shine was the fall guy. Natalia Rubin said herself, she said, Diddy shot me. So I know that your team, they are in absolute overdrive because they are going to make sure that this has got nothing to do with you in any way, shape or form. I'm just curious, what is your intent? Because you know that they're going to call you. You know your name is going to come up. You know that you're going to skitter your heels up into that courthouse if they go to trial, that they're going to holler your name. Some way, somehow, this time around, you are not going to be able to just wiggle out of it. It's not your fault. You went to a club with your boyfriend and this happened. The thing here is, you might not have seen it. Things like this happen really, really quickly. If you're not there, you kind of sort of miss it. So when all of this was going on, where were you? Where were you sitting? Where were you standing? But what I ask, I'm just curious of everything. When you were in the car, what did you know? What did you find out? Because People's lives really depended on what you said. And you know, I'm just saying, for whatever happened that night, and for whichever way you thought you were just trying to stay up out of this, Diddy got off and he had literally 20 plus years of where he railroaded other people's lives of which could have been avoided if he had gone and taken responsibility for what allegedly he had done as Natalia had accused him of. Let me just close this. Because the noise in the background sometimes it just affects. So that's what we want to know. That's that's what I have to call out. I'm just I'm just curious that if things had taken a different path that night, and somebody had stepped up, maybe the following day, the following week, and said, "This is what happened." Perhaps they would have said, we don't know between you and Shine, the two of you are going to go to jail. But instead, things took a different turn. And we are getting update after update after update of what Diddy has done. Allegedly.
because you let me know in the comments for me say allegedly 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 this is what he has done could it be could it be that if we had changed the trajectory of that night of that case of that trial that Diddy would not be free today to have ruined other people's lives allegedly. Come back correct. Come and ease this obsession. Full forest is possessed. Come and quiet this aggression. That, Jennifer, is going to sit on your conscience. It's going to sit on your conscience. Nobody else's. When you lie, yes, when, you're, when you lie in bed at night on your own, that is what is going to bother you. That is what is going to sit with you. Because you've got Emmy and you've got Max. It's different this time because you have children. Think about what you're doing with your children, Jennifer. You have to stop at some point in time. It's getting a little bit crazy. You're going from one marriage to another. What about your children? What is it that you are running away from that you cannot just settle down? Why is it that it's one man after another? What is wrong with you? What are you running away from? What are your demons? What are your traumas? What is it that happened in your childhood that you cannot settle down? That you have a fantastic, that you've had a fantastic career, a phenomenal international global career. You made all the money. You are as beautiful as anything. You got the body. Oh my God. And yet you are mentally imprisoned that you cannot function. And it does not help that this is coming up. What kind of therapy are you taking or having? Because you need it. You absolutely need it. This is going to go on. I don't know who is advising you, but you cannot have yes people around you. It's, going to, it's only going to make it worse. You have to really sit down to yourself and really face, go head to head and face everything on the onslaught. Because this time it's not going to go away. Your name was going to come up. We knew it was going to come up. I was going to address it. And Fumi Nation has been telling me, Fumi, but what about uh, Jennifer Lopez? What about Wendy? I'm going to address all of it. We are not going anywhere. Because there's update after update. It's all coming out. Everybody is being named and being called out. How do you think, for one instance, that your name wouldn't come up? We sit and we watch and we wait. Forget about Ben. As a matter of fact... If you love Ben, this is not the time to be with him. Because you're going to drag him into this by extension. 